on another installment of Storage Room Stories. Somebody asked me why I visit the cemetery every day. Is it a reason? Yes, my little brother buried there. I, I don't know how long you've been following me or if you know the story, so I'm going to retell it. I'm going to tell it as many times as I have to tell it until people understand that that's my safe space. So when my little brother was alive, we used to bump into each other every day. I met him in prison. He is not my blood brother, but as far as I am concerned and my mother is concerned, that's her son. So that's my brother. And when we got out of jail, we did, you know what I'm saying? We jammed like we jammed when we was in prison. And somebody killed my little brother. So every day I go see him because every day I seen him in life. So in death, if I can still pull up and we can have them same conversations that we used to be having because nine out of 10, I did most of the talking anyway. You want some coffee? That's my safe space. I was there when they put him in the ground. I know everybody that work at the cemetery that he is buried at because I am there so much. I even know three or four of the police officers that patrol the area because if I'm feeling a certain type of way when it get dark outside, I'll pull up to the cemetery and chill for a little while. And they'll pull up and see what I got going on. But I become so familiar with them people because I am always there that they don't even trip with me no more. They just pull up, see it's me, and be like, oh, what's up, Mr. Hey Now? And go on where they going because they know I ain't on nothing. And I'm just trying to get a little peace of mind. And that is where I get it. I tell my secrets to the dead because I ain't got to worry about them telling nobody. You know the old saying, right? Don't don't vent because vents lead to other rooms. Well, I kind of feel like that too. I tell all my problems to somebody who I know ain't going to never tell nobody. I used to tell all my problems to my mama and then she passed and took all my little secrets. But I can't talk to her. I can't pull up on her because that's not how she wanted to go. But that's a whole nother story that I ain't going to really get into. But I visit the cemetery every day, man, and say a couple words to my little brother. Show my respect. I didn't just love him in life. In death, we still got the same type of love going on. And I show it. Plus, this is very important. I do it for a reason also. I post it so people can see it and ask me why I'm always at the cemetery so I can tell them about my little brother. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me pull up a picture of his grave. Hold on, hold on. Here go another one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here go another one. Now, with that being said, I want to make sure that not only do people know me, but they know Eddie Kane. And then on the flip side of the coin, I'm talking about this is the most random thing ever, but it is the most meaningful thing to me in the world. That picture of him on his tombstone that you've seen, let me show you another. That picture right there, I took that picture. I am actually in that picture they cut me off because that was the picture that they used for his obituary i took the best picture of him and it was a selfie it's crazy ain't it? but it just kind of be like that that's my brother i love him in pieces i will always love him i got music and i got music and videos and all of that i shout him out and I will continue to shout him out because as long as I am pursuing my name living forever with Edna Jean name and Rare name, Eddie Kane going to be right along on that trip for us because if he was still alive, I would be doing this storage unit story, but he'd be sitting over there or he'd be staring over there or he'd be on his way to pulling up or he'd be on my phone telling me what I need to be telling y'all because we was tight like that. And then just something else, I'm going to end this video with this part of it because in my mind, just in my mind, that's just how I go to the cemetery every day because I feel like his death was my fault. And I don't mean like I had nothing to do with it or I was a part of the situation, but I introduced my brother to the hustle 
that made him all the money that he had before somebody killed him. Because it was my hustle. I gave it to him. I went back to jail. I gave him my hustle before I went back to jail. Then I came home and he was turned all the way up and I loved him for it. Plus he touched my hand all the time in the joint anyway. But when I came back home, he was turned all the way up. And then, you know, something happened to him. Just in my mind, if I don't put him on the path to be getting some money and staying out the way and moving people around like chess pieces, I don't think that might have happened to him because that wasn't his lane at first. My brother used to be really with the guerrilla tactics because he was probably 6'2", 6'3", probably 240, solid, built like an animal. He the reason I'm kind of put together. He used to make me work out in the joint. So, there's that. I ain't going to hold y'all too much longer, but just so you know, every time you see me pull up to the cemetery, I'm going to pay my respects, man, to my loved one. And on the flip side of the coin, you're going to see me pull up to the cemetery a whole bunch if you follow me. But if you don't, then you wouldn't know. But if you do, you're going to see the cemetery all the time. If you follow my story, I might start shooting reels of the puppies running around because they've been running around the cemetery jamming with my brother since I came back in the city. Y'all have a good day and be safe.